named Mel. As you, and you may have heard of her from, from the game Portal Stories Mel. Which is how the game which 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 is a published version of what of what the game was originally going to be. Yeah and, and instead of and instead of um and instead of Weekly being the enemy and and the helper if one was the helper and one was the enemy. The enemy was the emer was the emergency was the emergency intelligent life form incinerator using or actually destroyer that that and the rising doom that does not like the human skeleton. There you go. And yeah. And the original helper was what's his core named Vector. Still a core like Wheatley is, but it has a different name and yeah, he's just different. I feel like we're on like fact five now. No, we're on the one. I'm still on fact one, okay. Two. Oh, you want me to throw a fact? Yeah. Hi, how you guys doing? Um, let's see. Fact two. Um, are we talking about portal one or portal two? Both. Both, okay. Um weird in I okay. In, this is a, this is a me fact. When I played through Portal Two, I actually had a really hard time telling what was a white surface and what wasn't in certain areas based on the lighting. Yeah. I was actually very surprised to find that find white area be like, oh, I can go over there and I can do this and I can. Wee. Here's my fact. Go. Next fact. There, um, originally Portal is a game called New Decular Drop. Which was created by a few students at Stanford. And about adapted the source engine, made it open source, and created a game out of it. Cool. And the source engine was actually that those same students' project while they were working on while they were working on New Becular Drop. Ready for my fact? Yes. Fact four. Yeah. Cave Johnson is played by um, J.K. Simmons. My actor, it, um, okay. Fact five. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Fact five. Mm, the, um, Gladys is voiced by Elle McLean. There you go. Go. Fact six. Let's see. Um. The voice is Wheatley. Uh, I don't know. However... I do know that the game was not intended to be solved a certain way, especially in Portal 2. They actually encouraged creativity. Mm -hmm. So you could find different ways to solve the same problem. Portal 1 was a little more, uh, what the term they use, railroady. Yeah. Um, where it's like, this is the solution to the problem. Uh, there was a couple of rooms that you could get away with doing like weird stuff. But um, Portal 2 really did play on the, um, excuse me, on... Uh, your creativity. Yeah. Fact seven. Fact seven. Fact seven. Seven. Um. This is hard. Ah! And this, ah! folks, is why we write scripts. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. Uh, fact seven. Let's see. Um. Who wait? Um. Is very railroady, but in the fight with Glados. What? But in the beta, Glados was originally a big two thing, with 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 and added and was originally basically basically a second version of Half Life, another version of Half Life Two, using except using the Source Engine because. Because all the textures were the same as Half Life Two. In fact, Glados was originally just a big cube made out of Half Life Two bombs. 
Act 8, Portal, and Half-Life are in the same universe. Hashtag Half-Life 3 confirmed. <laughs> okay, your turn. Fact 9. Fact 9. Um. Through, um. Valve. Valve can't, apparently can't count to three. Clearly. My turn? Yes. Fact 10. The final fact. The ultimate fact. We gotta think of a really good one. I got one. Uh. Port. The ending. The information you get in Portal 2 about what happened to the world is essentially the storyline for Cloverfield. Yeah. Alright, guys. This has been Addison from the Wolves Den. Go check out my channel. Yeah, he's really struggling. <laughs> he's really struggling, so go ahead and help him out. So, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. No, hey, you're not my shark, but I'll live by your